Dad and Kids Play 1. From X-Men Children of the Atom to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Here are six things we look forward to in Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Number one is to return to classic gaming. We started off by playing these games on the classic arcade units back in the day. Then eventually, we moved on to playing them on the PlayStation and Sega Saturn when they first came to home systems. But these games will soon fall into what I call gaming jail since the current and last generation didn't support them. Hence the name, hashtag free Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But now with Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection on the rise, fans like myself can rejoice being able to play some of their favorite fighting games on current consoles. Number 2. There are 7 titles in this collection. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection has 7 games to choose from, and I cover all these games here on the channel. The collection consists of X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and The Punisher. The Punisher is an old school beat em up game that was published by Capcom in the early 90s. Also, it is stated that the Marvel Fighting Collection is going to be available for the Nintendo Switch, Steam, PS4, and PS5. At the time of this video, no plans are in the works for an Xbox version. Number 3. It has a gallery and song player. One of the cool features we can expect to see is the gallery mode this game has to offer. It is stated that the game will have never before seen images and behind the scenes artwork on various games in the series. Also, the collection has a music player so you can listen to all the tracks from each game. Personally, Dr. Doom and Captain America themes from Marvel Super Heroes are in my top five of Marvel music. Question. What are your favorite Marvel vs. Capcom themes? Number 4. It has online with rollback netcode. Another feature allowed the games to be played online. You can even play the Punisher online together. So with rollback netcode, we can expect the online gameplay to be a smooth experience indeed. Even though this style of online functionality doesn't go without its flaws either. But I definitely feel that fighting games, both retro and modern, need rollback netcode for a smoother online gameplay. Number 5. It has a refining training mode. One of the things I noticed while watching the game trailer is the fact that you can view your opponent hitbox now. This feature can really help the player with things like determining the range for moves and where to hit the enemy. Viewing the hitbox can now be done in training mode. Also, you can set the game to where specials can be done with a single button press. This mode can help newcomers to the Marvel series transition to the game more easily. Number 6 the hidden characters return. Apparently, this game gives you the option to play with hidden characters from each game. For an example, Juggernaut and Magneto can be played on X-Men Children of the Atom, and Dr. Doom, Anita, and Thanos can be played in Marvel Super Heroes. And while I'm always happy to see broken characters return for a single player experience, we have yet to see if these characters are allowed online or not. So there you have it. That was six things we look forward to in the upcoming Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and even share it. With that being said, I'm Dad Mishima. See you next video.